what is up guys it's soul bash we are back with some tai chi panda and i want to take a look at the top three best farmable pets now these are in my opinion the best three farmable pets that i use and it's just a little top three i wanted to put together for you guys uh the first one i want to actually get into is number three and that is going to be the phoenix the phoenix is a very good pet it's obtainable at the area five let's see that's not too far into the game so you can start farming this pet a little bit earlier on than later levels and you can start getting ahead of it because the one main reason i like this hero is because he has ranged attacks and he has quite a lot of different things that do damage um everything he does and look at the crit increase by 20 percent and his big thing his rare skill i utilize this a lot in team instances and it can put out some crazy numbers i've seen numbers upwards of 13 million so increasing your damage that you can do on top of that he is able to be enhanced and you can get skins on this one as well so this is one of the reasons it is one of my top favorite and I, the reason it is at number three is because it's not farmable until area five that's the only reason i put put this pet at level th at the third spot is because you can't get him until you get a little bit into the game and start playing consistently and i would recommend if you want to go ahead and get him a lot faster run the elite instances as well you can get at least four of them out of the two you can get up to an extra 10 shards from him every day if you do the elites to farm him now getting into some things about him uh, with the awakenings let's take a look at his awakening skills and another reason why he would be good to have upon death the phoenix will split into four mini phoenixes in each of which has 210 percent of the original phoenix's attack so it's double its attack and it's multiple of them four of them but they only have 15 percent of their hp that is a crazy skill i can't wait to get it uh, let's take a look at revival when the pet reaches what would be a killing blow there's a 40 percent chance to restore eight percent health instead that is cool instead of killing him it's going to heal him rebirth let him come back and of course the other ones that you can get on a lot of the other pets but those main two skills right there that's another reason this is one of my most favorite pets sadly i've not been able to get them yet but hey we're still working at it all right and getting into number two we want to look at probably one that would be categorized right next to what we just looked at and pairs with him very well if you run pve a lot the ice phoenix ice phoenix is my number two pick and the reason he is he is a range pet as well so that's another bonus to it he stays away he does moderate damage 100 percent there on that ability uh that right there creates the world and sends several of them out it also slows them down uh and as you upgrade stuff that stuff does increase so that's pretty nice uh the other one's vortex cast five icy tornadoes this is what freezes enemies and reduces dodge by five percent you level that up and then it continues to increase it so leveling skills up on these pets is recommended because it does make them a lot stronger now the rare skill is another one for you guys for five plus the evolution pet times 0.4 seconds the player's damage taken is decreased by 85 percent that is huge that can let you take quite a few hits for those five seconds and do very little damage to you another plus side this pet is in able to be enhanced as you can see here i've got that up to three and the other one during ice shield period this is pretty cool players attack there is a 20 percent chance to freeze the attacker for 0.9 seconds so that can be another one of those quite an inconvenience things to someone especially in pvp uh, so it's a pretty nice pet well-rounded and let's take a look at what his top skills are now that's one thing about this guy he doesn't have any s skills uh, so that's unfortunate for this one on the list but hey I still do recommend it because at Ice Phoenix, you can start getting him in Area 4. So you can actually start farming this guy ahead of the Phoenix and get him before that. And that is the reason I put this pet in the number two spot. 
Now let's get down to the nitty gritty down to number one. But first, let's do a little honorable mention. You can't do a, a little bit of a countdown without having an honorable mention. And I want to throw this guy in here, Firewalker. He's very down looked upon at the beginning of the game. You don't really think you'll use him, but this guy with the things that have been added over the time from evolution, look at all the crazy stuff that you can add to him. And he goes to, he tends to be wanted to be paired up with Harpy, but I'm not sure exactly what everybody's running him with, but the stuff that you get from increasing this pet all the way up is insane. This is why this guy is my honorable mention. Uh, the rare skill for him, he grants a taunt to a pet, doesn't work on players, uh, and it's a 60 second cooldown. I'm not sure what else, I haven't enhanced him. He doesn't look enhanceable, there's no skins, but this guy, the reason they use him is for this thing right here, this S skill. Touch of healing, every time the pet is hit, there is a 10% chance to restore 6% of its health. That right there, Throwing this skill in didn't make this pet viable until this skill was implemented in a previous update. Now he does have another S skill, which is Searing Armor. When the pets attack, there's a 20% chance to boost damage deflect by 10%. So in effect, if you're hitting this pet, he can be killing you and healing himself at the same time, and he's got a crap ton of hit points. So that is why I picked this guy for the honorable mention. Now, da, 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 we can finally get to number one. And my number one pet for you guys that is farmable is going to be, of course, Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong is probably one of my most favorite pets out of every one of these guys in the game. And the reason being, look at the damage he's able to do. His main attack, 370% damage to everything in front of him. Second attack slams the ground. Each hit deals 136% damage. Last hit deals 410% damage and it can levitate it. Player control immunity and increases dodge by 60%. I'm liking the dodge on it, that's another reason. And look at this doppelganger, you can throw out two more Sun Wukongs. Each has 100% of the attack and health, and it lasts for 20 seconds. So that's two extra pets while you're transformed into this guy, which is his rare skill. And on top of that, you can get this skill out twice in one transformation. That's what makes it so amazing. And the rare skill, of course, is the transformation into him. And this transformation is amazing because it does so much damage reduction for you. You basically almost become invincible for that in that time. Now, I can tell you, I have been one shotted still in this transformation by, I believe it's Relic Lords, but that's the only case. And of course, he is enhanceable. Uh, you get the skills, these right here, I've maxed out nice net damage and extra damage and this right here during transformation when players attack there's a 30 percent chance to increase damage by 100 percent for 10 seconds now i have this skill maxed out 100 percent extra damage and it's only a 30 percent chance it triggers but hey that is a huge damage increase while i'm in this defensive form so any amount of extra damage that i can put out is going to be great now looking at his awakening skills this is the reasons. Look right here, powers and numbers. Sun Wukong's damage increased by 12%. Let's get this out of the way. Upon each doppelganger. So each of the extra guys that you summon are going to have an extra 12%. And when you level this up, the damage is going to increase. So you're not only summoning just the two at the beginning, but the other two before you do die. And they do have 100% of the hit points and attack that your normal pet does. So that's five pets out of just one pet from that skill. That's freaking amazing and it does extra damage. Now Wukong's damage on Rally, it says it increases by 55% and Doppelganger's attack increases by 44%. So this is pumping yet alone more damage into this pet that it's able to do from those two skills, which are the S skills. And I don't believe I have any of those for this guy yet very unfortunate as well hopefully we'll be trying to get these uh very soon but if you guys have any recommendations of what pets to do next on a list uh leave them in the comment section below i'll take a look at it we can do top threes we can do top fives uh top fives is kind of pushing it because there's so much to talk about with each one of these pets 
So just leave me your thoughts in the comment section below on, on which pets you think would be awesome to do on the next top three video like this that we do. Now, if you have any questions about these pets, guys, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, the number one pet, Sun Wukong, the reason we got him is because he is farmable at the earliest of area three. That's why he is the number one pet. You can get him earlier than any of the other we, others we talked about. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, leave me a big fat like. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solbash. You guys have a nice day.